What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this second day of April 2021. So, uh, update. Evan quit this week, right? Uh, she came into the office. She sat right over here. Um, she's real broken up, started crying, um, told me that she couldn't take it anymore. And uh, once she got me on the hook, she let me know it was April Fool's, and that was a tough one. Uh, it was actually a fun week this week for, for the sake that uh, the team is having a really good time playing random pranks on each other. Um, my anxiety level sometimes goes up, especially with that one. Like, she totally had me. I mean, I even started tearing up. Like, I, I was so so broken up about how she was feeling. Like, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, my heart was breaking for her, right? Like, she did that. She did that. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't believe it. Uh, is an ulcer, ulcer just forming in there after that, let me tell you. Uh, but, yeah, everything this week is is looking relatively positive. We did have some... Some personal stuff in the office happened this week that you know we're uh, definitely keep uh, keep our team in your in your thoughts. Uh, but as we get through the next week, we'll we'll kind of allude to what's going on there. Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, the CDC moratorium, uh, June the thirtieth. Uh, just so you know, also I'm going to start bringing these notes and really making sure that I stick to them during these these conversations because I, oftentimes I get off this topic and I'm way over here. I don't edit these. These are the videos that I'm not going to edit. I want them to be as authentic, you know, as, as, as real as possible. Um, one of our things here at, at Capstone is we want to be really, really, really transparent. So as we bring this stuff to you guys, I really love your feedback, love your thoughts, um, and definitely want to want to tie you into what's what we're doing moving forward. I mean, this is fun, right? Like it, we're, we're growing this thing. Uh, we're learning tons of lessons. Um, and a lot of this stuff is, is, you know, it's helpful when we can have this relationship where we're getting feedback. Um, the CDC moratorium, June 30th. Here's why you shouldn't be too worried about that. Uh, looking at the numbers, check this out. So we have three people that are um, on plans right now for payment. More than 400 doors that we manage and only three of them um are we having challenges and of all of those the one challenge we only have one that's really a challenge challenge we didn't place that person so you know i always kind of uh, allude to the fact that if we're placing a tenant like the chances of success are significantly higher than if you've got a pro or like an owner brings a property over and there's already a tenant in it it's because expectations from the very beginning you know we're able to to start that relationship off with the tenant as well and it works well. Um, you know, tenants know that our team behind the scenes is is doing what they can to make it happen, right? We're we're definitely doing our best to to prove tenants wrong when it comes to them thinking that we're just some kind of property manager. Um, and you know, and in this situation, knowing that we really don't have many is is good. Less than one percent. I mean, to me, feels great. Um, so when it comes to the CDC stuff, when it comes to moving forward with, hey, where are our things going when, when owners come to us and say hey this the you know things are gonna are looking like they're not going to be positive in the foreseeable future I don't believe that for Arizona right now the struggle in Arizona is a lack of housing Arizona is getting back to we, I mean, we're one of the strongest economies in the country right now and we're growing up right Ariz Phoenix itself is growing up and it's it's moving into that stage where our pricing is becoming more normalized with the rest of, you know, the metropolitan areas that have already grown up, right? So now we're in that phase of booming economy, shortage of housing, tons of people moving here from all over the country, and it, it just fits that the housing would be, you know, comparable um, or the market would be comparable to, you know, the areas that are, that are booming like Seattle and L.A., and that type of thing as well. So we're getting there. Um, let's see. Uh, one thing that that Julie asked me to bring up is um, when it comes to uh, the tenant paying. So when tenant pays, when it comes to reporting for the IRS, we are the the IRS needs to be reported to for income when the tenant pays, not when you are paid. So if a tenant pays into the system and we're carrying their, their rents until you're paying off month over month, that could be a, benef a, a negative when a tenant is paying you know, a ton of rents all at once. 
So if they're paying the entire year all at once, you're essentially going to get taxed on all that money. If you know their rent started last November and they paid a year in advance, you're paying tax on all of that rent that was essentially paid by the tenant to you in November. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not necessarily when you get the money, but when the tenant pays. Um, I did want to reach out. I just want to say thanks to Terry, John, and Randy this week. You three really, really, really um, gave me a, a new perspective. Even if you don't think that you taught me something you did this week, um, I really appreciate feedback. Um, I really appreciate just your perspective. Um, you all, you know, most of you all as our clients have have your own unique perspective on what's happening right now and the experience that you're able to share with me from whether it's right now or your past or whatever it is, is, is always helpful. So I totally appreciate that. Um, it's only going to make us better. Um, and honestly, in our service offerings, I think, you know, we can always uh, be improving. Um, next week, we have uh, transition. We're, within the next two weeks, you're going to see a handyman service that we're offering. Um, feel free to give us a call if you have questions about that. Our goal is to provide more transparency with our maintenance, uh, better pricing, better service, and ultimately something that we'll be able to control. So as we have this third-party company that's going to be assisting us with the maintenance stuff, uh, we expect that it's going to be something that ties in, uh, you know, right into our values, and we're able to, you know, offer just a considerably better service, just more consistently um, as we grow and and for your properties. Um, we're also planning on making sure that as uh, capstone clients, uh, the pricing that you receive is better than retail pricing um, anywhere else. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we're doing this to create a win-win. For us, yes, it should be a profit center. We do not make money on maintenance right now. This will be something that we will in the future. However, um, one of the biggest benefits to us is just being able to control the quality of the service and the consistency. Um, our systems and processes are getting better and better, and as we can grow that out and roll that into other entities, uh, that looks like the best opportunity for us being able to offer the best service. So cool. Um, I appreciate you watching this. I think that's all I got for today. Um, this week, I mean, Sierra r raced through just, I mean, we barely have anything on the market right now for rent. We have, I think, five rentals on the market as of today, and three of them were put on the market yesterday. So that means that realistically, this whole month, I mean, she got six approved this week, um, and tons of apps. Uh, the, the showing part and how we're handling now the showings with Matt being our exclusive agent for showing these properties. He's killing it. He and Sierra are working in this dynamic duo. It's amazing to see behind the scenes. Um, you know, I, I love here that the, the team definitely encourages feedback and, you know, and growth. And it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's a cool thing to be a part of. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, watching this video, feel free to ping me, uh, feel free to schedule a call if you'd like. I have my link down in here. If you have questions about where your goals are for real estate or you just wanna talk through what looks right right now, please do so. Um, it now is, is a decent time for some people to sell, but other, otherwise, you know, if it doesn't fit into your model, let's talk through it, figure out what makes the most sense. Thanks for watching.